Welcome to day 20 of the film a video every single day for 30 days challenge. Today we're at Goldfield Ghost Town. We were here last week sometime and I said we would dedicate an entire video to Goldfield. So this, this is it. Unfortunately, our buddy Big Super could not make it today, but you know who could? Lexi, even better. So we're gonna go check out the ghost town. Really stoked to be hanging out with Lexi and uh, let's see what Goldfield Ghost Town has to offer. But first, let's get a little bit of history out of the way. The Wild West history of Goldfield began in 1892 when a big gold strike sparked the interests of many. That initial strike was estimated to be worth close to $3 million, which was and, well, actually still is, a gigantuan amount of money. Gold continued to pour out of the town until about 1897, which supported a strong and vibrant population of around 4,000 people, but the vein then faulted and the Great of War dropped. Several years after the majority of people had moved on, the town was informally renamed Youngsburg. The gold mining scene of Youngsburg was kinda hit or miss at best, but the mine stayed open and a cyanide plant was built as the remaining people continued to work the area until about 1926 when the town finally completely went bust. This is not the 1890s ghost town site. There are hazardous conditions at any ghost town and old mining sites. Including... Fast forward to 1980 until the present, Goldfield is actually more of a tourist destination now. So it's kind of in a way like a synthetic ghost town. It has rich history and everything's real, although all the attractions, they're modern. And technically, the definition of a ghost town is a place without a post office, so I guess it's still technically a ghost town but a pretty cool place to be, and on a Saturday, it is popping. There is a plethora of attractions here at Goldfield. You can ride a train where the conductor will tell you all about the history. You can ride a zip line that'll come ripping down this line with a nice view of the Superstition Mountains. You can go on a mine tour, which is actually a tunnel that they made recently, but it, it tells a lot of history, and it's pretty cool. There's also like one of those like weird houses like a fun house kind of thing it's all built sideways and you feel like you're like super off balance the whole time we went to the reptile museum there is all kinds of stuff that you can do here at goldfield ghost town They had some wild critters in there. Stuff I've never seen or even imagined in my life. Like the King Cobra. I mean, I've only seen like those in cartoons pretty much, which is, those things are crazy looking. But something I didn't think about is how do they change the water? And I asked the lady and I guess, since these snakes are kind of docile, they're easy to change their water, but in the wild that would not be the case. Oh, Rex, we come bearing gifts. Well, that's all I got for you guys in this one. Thank you so much for watching this video about Goldfield, and I will see you guys tomorrow for day 21. And if you haven't heard about the raffle, a winner will be selected on November 16th for the grand prize and the only prize, the license plate off my Jeep 
and $50 cash money. You could be the winner, all you have to do is join Patreon. I will see you guys tomorrow.